I thought I haven't uploaded for a while and a lot of people ask me about floors. Now this is a stone floor. It's not got a coating on it and it, this gets a hammering. I mean, it's outside the door, it's mud and it will be mud now from summer and then it will be dust. It has tens of people in and out. It's a farmhouse floor. So this is how I'm gonna go about this and I'll show you step by step what I'm doing. It won't look massively different when it's clean and it won't last for half a day, but you know, it just shows you that that will be fine. I'm not saying that Twinkle's put out by me moving her box and washing part of her bed, but if we can all start some kind of fund for the dog's trust, and then she can go and live places where they don't do that to her. I know Twinkle Bean, I know, I know. It's awful, isn't it? You've been asked to move eight foot, eight foot. I know, I'm so sorry. It's just appalling. The treatment we dish out to this dog. I mean, look at it, how can she manage? Now I've hoovered. You can see this is where the box, the dog bed only sits. And you can see the difference between where it's worn and not worn. So, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use a modern bucket just to get the floor wet. I'm not that skirting board. And actually this is bleach. I've got something called lemon floor gel. Ubiquitous, anyone that's worked in janitorial will know the stuff. Stinks of lemons, it's thick and it's gooey and it's a hard surface cleaner. Okay, this is a busy kitchen, so I'm not always able. What I've done is I've sloshed down liquid, strong lemon floor gel solution. I've left it to sit for a bit, and now I'm scrubbing it with this, which is a deck called a deck scrub. They're quite cheap, and when the bristles on this wear out, you just buy another scrubbing brush, and I'll probably buy one with pointed ends just to get into corners better. I'm going to give it a really good scrub, leave it, and then I'll move over to a dry bit of floor, scrub that, and then and only then will I fill the bucket full of cold, uh, not cold, clean water and rinse it off. So I'm going to carry on scrubbing here before people come back in and I can't record and then we'll take it from there. That is what it's like afterwards. See it's not a huge difference but there is a difference. These ones haven't been washed, those ones have been scrubbed thoroughly. This will last until about five o'clock today because like I said, it's a hard working, hard wearing floor. And the reason they put this down was it doesn't really show the dirt, which is to be honest, a good thing because there's a lot of dirt that comes on here. Working farmhouse kitchen.